the world's changed. And I think we can all acknowledge that. But like, if you, if you all could address two things, one is like this, it, and by the way, it is a limiting belief. It is a mindset thing about don't waste my time. If you could address that. And then the second is there is a very real safety issue when you are dealing with meeting strangers on the internet. So some best practices about like navigating that would be amazing. I want every single member of my team in a perfect world to meet two human beings a week at a property that they never would have met for the first time. Just two a week. That's one every three and a half days to pull into a driveway, shake somebody's hand and tour a property with them. And if all goes well to then lead to a buyer consult, to then talk about our unique value proposition, to then work on making sure they're pre-approved and pre-qualified. But my thought is like, I will never be too busy in this industry to spend twice a week meeting somebody for the first time. And statistics have proven when you meet somebody in person, you're 300% more likely to conduct business with them. So am I willing to do that twice a week, eight times a month to get a couple of sales? I probably wouldn't have gotten yes. Now, shame on me, Jeremiah, if I meet with them a second or third time without pre-qualifying right? That's shame on me if I keep spending my time with them without doing a needs analysis, sharing my value proposition, making sure they're pre-qualified. But that first meeting, like I'll do it all day long. Um, yeah, Ashley, Rustin, Josh, any different thoughts on that? No, no, I completely agree. And um, like full transparency, I'm not like a super seasoned agent. I've been in the business for two and a half years. So I don't have this like background of like, you know, how some other agents might have, you know, been in it a little longer and they kind of have, I know that that mindset ex exists um, of like, I'm, I don't get a, I don't show a home to somebody who's not pre-qualified. Um, I don't, t I don't ever think about it that way because um, if they're not, then that's another value that I get to, I get to add to them. So I get to say, how about this? I know this great lender, local lender, let me connect you with her and let's see where you're at, see where, where you're pre-qualified for. And then we can kind of go from there. But yeah, I agree. I like to make those face-to-face um, -face meetings. Um, and then as a follow-up, the second question in, in regards to safety is something that like, you know, I'm really conscious about as a woman and I'm 35 and um, I don't, I try to not go on first appointments um, that are showings with just that one person. Um, if there is a situation like that, I'll usually bring another agent along with me um, or we just don't meet at the home. Um, sometimes we'll meet for a coffee or something um, before the showing. If there's not time for that, then I'll try to bring somebody along. Um, and sometimes there, it's just not, you just can't do it and you just kind of have to go to the appointment and you have to go alone. So, you know, you can carry something with you if you need to for to protect yourself, but um, there's lots of ways I feel like to protect yourself and keep yourself safe as long as you're being conscious about it. Um, but yeah, I, I completely agree. We try to make those appointments. We, you know, I try to do two, two a week as well. And I try to make 15 contacts a day and I just keep track every day. So those are like brand new conversations about real estate that I'm having with people. Um, I feel like if I do 15 a day, it usually turns into at least two appointments a week for me. Russin, anything else on that wasting time on that first showing you want to touch on? Yeah, the it's the market of the moment is a real question. Um, Kodak didn't realize what the market of the moment was. They kept on issuing film and they're completely out of business. Do people still take pictures with film? Yes. There's more than one way to go about doing business. This is just what has become, uh, has been introduced in the business simply because of society we live in. It's an easy button. They want it quick. They want it now. It's instant gratification. The audience demands a performance. And if we're not providing them that performance, they're gone. They're going to move on to the next. So it's it's at your discretion whether or not you want to potentially introduce different types of beliefs into your practice that's going to allow you to have a higher rate of success. And, and when you are in front of someone, you have all forms of communication. You've got body language, which is 55%. You've got tonality, which is 38%. And you've got your word selection, which is 7 You have 100% of communication that you're able to interact with somebody. Um, Safety-wise... I personally, we've got women on our team, some lady, ladies on our team, and they always either buddy up or they have uh, with one of the guys or uh, they'll go up in a group of two and they never go into the house first. They let the individual in first. So they're never they put themselves position wise in a place where they're they're still 
have an opportunity to exit if they need to. And if you have that gut reaction where you're just like, ooh, something doesn't feel right, turn around and walk away. Just get out of there. Because your your intuition, yeah, your intuition will tell you what to do. 